Hey, I'm RST Maniac, and this is another video tutorial to help you import scenery into Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 using the importer and other programs. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to talk you through how to create an icon for your object so when people use it in game, they'll know what it is from a little picture that displays by the text instead of having to place it to see what it looks like. Uh, you can do this two ways. Uh, you can either import your object into the game, take a screenshot of it and edit it in your picture editor or you can take a picture of it in your modeler which is what I'm going to do as you can see at the top I'm using milkshape and I'm going to be now just taking a picture so I've got my sphere of light which you'll know if you've done the light tutorial uh, there it is just like that, I'm going to get this ready for a screenshot first of all I'm going to take away the axis Looking much better already, and I'm gonna unclick show grid. So now we've just got that. Okay, so there we go. That's off, and that's off. Get down, line it up, just like that. You want to have quite a lot of the object in view, but a little bit of space around it. That's probably perfect. Then, in my modeler, you right click, click take screenshot, and then you save it. So sphere with light screen I'm gonna call mine there may be obviously different methods of taking pictures if you're using different modelers remember you press F10 in Rollercoaster Tycoon okay I'm now gonna open my image editor mine is paint.net you can download free actually from getpaint.net so that's www.getpaint.net uh, or just type in paint.net on Google. There's also another good free one called The Gimp. Uh, or there's others which are very popular such as Photoshop, PaintShop Pro. Or you could use Fireworks. Anything that will edit an image. Uh, preferably not paint. Although you could use it. Okay, so I'm just going to open my image that I've just found here. In the tutorial folder. There it is. Okay. All I do is I click image, resize, and as you'll know, your icons need to be 64 by 64. We do that, resampling, goes to best quality. You click OK, it'll take a second, and there you go, that's now my object. Now I have to go file, save as, and where it says bitmap, BMP, click under that and select the PNG, and then replace the word screen with icon and slay save sorry and there you go that the importer will now recognize that icon and you can use it when you are adding uh, your object into the importer I'll just quickly give you a very quick demo on how to do that when you're gonna add your scenery there the icon should appear here when you add it uh, for those who don't know how to add it, you click on icon textures, find it here. I might as well do this now. There it is, sphere with light icon. You can always click that if you're not sure you selected the right one. It says bitmap there, but ignore that because it's PNG there, as you can see, 64 by 64. And you click OK, click OK. Then go on icon references, click auto, and select the one you've done. Click OK. And then when you go to add your scenery, under here where it says icon you can then select your thing there okay so hopefully that's helped you and good luck with getting your objects into the game and i hope look forward to seeing what you could do uh, i'm rct maniac and this tutorial is made as part of the rct3 importer tutorial team uh, as myself johnny is and d kimber and i hope to make custom scenery an easier and better experience for you thank you and good luck